Good morning and happy Friday. Gonna try my best to keep this video short and sweet. If you're looking to do a caravan upgrade and you don't wanna spend a mint, something like this is gonna see you out just fine. New age caravan, road hour model, one battery, one 350 amp hour battery in the rear. Don't mind the ladder, cause I'm gonna get up there and show you the roof. So it's got two rear battery trays, one 350 amp hour fits in one of those battery trays. 90 mil cable up to the inverter under the bed. So we've done a full Victron 3 kVA multi plus, but no screen, no Victron servo screen, just the inverter control. They already had a panel on the roof and we added four of that to give them 910 watts of total solar. One solar controller, 70 amp one, and then just the single Victron DC charger. So 50 amp Orion XS, so 50 amp alternator charger that's also Bluetooth, 70 amp solar controller, which is also Bluetooth, solar main switch down there, 3 kVA multi-plus inverter, 300 amp circuit breaker, like I said, 90 mil cable, and then your AC output, RCBO is there, plus you've got RCBO for the AC input. So at the moment, we're charging and running the aircon in this van. You've got a DC input, so from the Anderson plug to the DC charger, that's the fuse for that. And then you've also got another bank of fuses here, one for the black jack at the front, the DC charger and the solar charger. So again, just keeping it super simple. We've got the AS3001 label kit to go on. If you are an installer and you're watching this video, we sell these label kits on our website. We have an abundance of them in stock and they are a truffle light label. So they're actually engraved, they're not just a sticker. Super handy. There's a couple of different sets that you can get and they're not expensive at all. They're on the, uh, it's element3batterytechnology.com.au or if you go to the JT website and click on the shop, it'll take you to the element three shop, but those label kits are on there. Anyway, back to it. So like I said, this system, no screen. They've kept the BM Pro screen up on the van with BM Pro system up here. And what we've done is taken all the charging away from this. We do still have a solar Anderson input plugged in on that unit, but we've taken all the charging away from it and running it through all the Victron stuff. Just because of the way the layout was up here, this was the only orientation that this screen would fit. So this is just for the multi plus. You can adjust your AC current input limit. So they'll check charger only or on mode, just super simple. And then everything's Bluetooth. So at the moment it's not reading a battery percentage because I drained it intentionally this morning overnight, as you'll see here on the screen. So you can see I turned it on yesterday afternoon, 98%, and it drained down all the way down to 2% and then it turned off, which is perfect, which means I've set up the Victron shunt correct so that the um, battery monitor is 100% aligned with what the battery is at. So at the moment you can see we are running the aircon up here. It's running 16 degrees, keeping me nice and cool. And we're also plugged into mains power, so we're charging. So instead of the Victron screen, the customer just has a full Bluetooth battery monitoring system. So shunt, DC charger, solar controller, Obviously the solar at the moment, we're not in any remote good sun, it's in the shade, but we have wired them all in series. So you're gonna see anywhere up to sort of 90 to 100 volts on this solar array. And it's got a 150 volt input, 70 amp output solar controller. So as you can see, the sun is behind the cloud and we are behind a big concrete wall. Now, original panel here, which was 190 watt, and then we've added another four 180 watters, okay? And then all of our solar fuses are all under the one panel, and like I said, it's all wired into you, so you're gonna have roughly 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 volts of this array. So any shading on this system is gonna work a treat. The reason we use the 180 is because that's what married up the best with this panel for what the voltage of that panel already runs at. Short power plug-in at the front, battery at the back. So like I was saying, you've got a 350 amp hour battery in there with the shunt underneath the van here, IP67 shunt. Simple setup where you don't have to spend an absolute mint, but you get efficient charging, a good size battery. And I've said to the customer, if you find that in the next six months, that one 350 amp hour is not enough what you need, you need to be able to run the aircon longer, bring it back. We take that 350 out, charge it up individually, 
grab a new 350, charge it up individually, balance them across the two, then retrofit both of them into those battery boxes that are there so they're taking the 700 amp hours. Again, absolutely fine, absolutely perfect. And they still don't need the servo screen. The servo screen is handy, yes, don't get me wrong, but their tanks and temperatures and stuff, they didn't want to worry about it. They just had that screen there, so they'll just keep it as is. And everything's on Bluetooth, so phone, Android, iOS apps, for like Apple phones, the app works on all that stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, hit them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them or uh, reach out if you are after something like this, because yeah, simple but effective. Thank you.